Hey guys, welcome to Necrocasters, but let me take a second to guess why you're here. So you got your HTC Vive in, right? And you downloaded all the drivers, you downloaded all the software, you took a long time to do that, and your headset's connected, all your controllers are connected, your cameras are connected, but everything says unresponsive when you try playing it. The only thing that does work is the room setup where you size up your room so you know how like, where the grid is and stuff. And all you're seeing is a blue grid, a planet in the sky, and a floor. Well, I know how to fix that finally because I took a day and a half to try it. Now, I, I didn't know that the headset and the monitor had to be connected to the same graphics card, because I have two and I was trying to connect it to both, and I thought that's how it worked, but it is not. You have to connect it to the exact same graphics card, the monitor and the headset. Now, now you may notice there's a problem with that, seeing that most graphics cards only have one HDMI port, so you can't really connect two HDMI plugins. Now, the way you fix that is a number of ways. There's one where you can get an HDMI splitter, which you take... Uh, an HDMI port, you plug it in, and on the end of it, it has two HDMI ports, so you can plug multiple things into it. Don't get a switcher, get a splitter if you're going to do that. Switchers are expensive and don't even work for it anyway. But the other way, which is the way I did it, is that there's usually a DVI port also on your gra graphics card. So there's you can get an adapter to adapt a DVI to an HDMI. And I'll show you that in a minute, but what it does is you plug it into the DVI, and then you plug it into your monitor as an HDMI, and it gives you the same definition on the computer. And you don't got to worry about like any less quality in it if you're plugging it into the DVI because it's an adapter and it works fine. And then you plug your headset into the remaining HDMI port on that same graphics card. This works and I will show you it right now. Alright, so on the back of my computer you can see that there's an HDMI port right here and there's an HDMI port right there. But these are two different graphics cards. You cannot do that. You cannot connect the headset to one and the monitor to the other. So what this is right here, this is the adapter. There's actually a DVI port, there should be one on your computer too, and this is the adapter that hooks up to the monitor. So just go buy one of these adapters, it's, I thought, I think mine was around 30 bucks, and you know it makes seem expensive, but virtual reality is expensive to begin with. And then plug your headset up to the HDMI port, and I swear to you, your games will work, I've been testing it, and just don't try plugging into two graphics cards and then get mad because that's what I did and I've been working on it for a day and a half and I finally figured it out. This is the solution to unresponsive games. If this doesn't work for you, then keep it like this because this has to be how it is and there's some other problem that you're having. So try that and see if it works and if it doesn't work for you, then like I said, just keep it how it is. That's, that's, that's actually supposed to be how it is. You plug both into one graphics card. But if that didn't work for you, then it's something else in the uh, settings. They might say that your compositor is not connected and you get to change it to uh, direct mode. Run your games in direct mode and uh, that's supposed to, like that's the settings that you're supposed to really use. It works better. So run direct mode and do what I just said there for the uh, chords and you will be fine. Your virtual reality will work. But if you still have issues, then leave it in the comments below and I won't answer any questions you may have like what kind of graphics cards may work because I'm running a 760 GTX NVIDIA graphics card. And everyone's saying that you have to have the 900 series graphics card, and you do not. It works. I'm fine with mine. I'm, like, running games beautifully. Now, would it be better if I had the 900 series? Yes. I would. It would probably be a lot better. Well, not a lot better. It would. You'd have a little more definition to the games, but 760 is fine. So if you have any questions about graphics cards or anything else for that matter, what, like what you need for the run virtual reality then just ask me in the comments below and i'll be happy to answer anything so thank you all so much for watching if you like this video make sure you leave a like at the bottom of this video if you're not subscribed yet make sure to subscribe because that'd make you awesome and uh, yeah see you guys in the next video